Trooper Casper's death is taking an emotional toll on all law enforcement officers in our area. The tragedy impacts both fellow state patrol officers and those in other agencies who are sworn to protect and serve. NBC 26's Eric Crest is live at 6 with that story. When a public servant loses his life prematurely, the impact is felt by more than just the family. And though bloodlines and state borders may separate us, grieving is one way we can all get through the tough times. Every year, about 150 U.S. officers will pay the ultimate sacrifice for their community. It makes me so proud to be a law enforcement officer, the way we respond when one of us falls. And while it's particularly hard for those who know those victims personally, like Police Chief Funkhauser, knowing Trooper Casper's family. I feel very poorly and sadly for their loss, and it, it hurts deeply. It's also painstaking for those who never even met them. It's very, very normal when something like this happens. I hear a fair amount from people who didn't know them, have nothing to do with public servants. At Bell and Health, psychologists know the impact that a tragic loss can have on a whole community. The mindset is, you know, okay, we got to tough it out and just keep moving forward. But Dr. Kegel says that's not the answer. So it's better to kind of purge that stuff along the way than let it build up to the point where um, you're str a person struggling. And while most officers would never let you see them, having a bad day. We don't need much to keep us going. Sometimes it's the simplest of gestures that assure them they're appreciated. Just shake her hand, say thank you. The psychologist I spoke with today says it's critical for those dealing with a loss to talk to somebody about what you're going through. Eric Crest, NBC 26.